playing uh, DC Worlds Collide every day for a minute now. So I wanted to make a video that shows all of the daily activity, like how long does it take to play all the daily activities and get through like the normal gameplay of one day, what that entails. So if you want to play the game, there's going to be a link in the description to this Pocket Gamer article. Right now, the game is restricted to Southeast Asia. You can play the game on iOS and Android. If you want to play the game on Android outside of say, Southeast Asia or without a VPN of some sort, check out this article. That's how I am playing the game. I follow the instructions here, this article. And also in this video, we're going to talk about is the game pay to win. And also I'm going to go over some of the characters that I really like and characters that I want to get kind of like a, a tier list, if you will, and kind of how the general mechanics of the game. Now, I have never played uh, other games like this. A lot of people tell me that this mirrors other games that are out there. Uh, like AFK Arena, and I've not played that. So when you log in for the first time every day, they give you a summary of everything that's going on, and there's always seems to be like something new to do in the game. High level of communication, a lot of different weekly events, these bulletins, a lot of excellent information. So there's this middle area in the middle that's the drone area, and basically it fills up per hour. So like you click on it, and you can see that you have your basic income and you have your rates per hour. Now I spend uh five dollars so it, which is like they're kind of like a battle pass if you will but the, the five dollars gives me 30 days of usage of a bonus income on the drone so i do that now i'm going to save time because i we're going to basically be going through the daily activities and the daily quests and one of them is to collect this area twice and so i just know to do that automatically first log in and then right here we get 120 minutes of supplies for free and something that i personally do is i just spend 50 crystals to do it twice it seems to go you know, from 100 to 200 and so on and so on. And so I, I don't do it too much. Next, I'm going to go into uh, the store. And with the store, I'm going to purchase all the things that I can with gold. And this right here is like a, a currency needed to upgrade characters. Now, the interesting thing about DC Worlds Collide is you only have to upgrade five characters. And basically, everybody else is on a reserve. And so um, like most of my characters are at level 200. And some of my characters are at 220, four of them. But I only have to upgrade four characters. When I upgrade the fifth one, the the, the rest of my roster will mirror the, the character level of my fifth one. So, like, when I start taking that last one up to 201, 202, my entire, all the rest of my characters and roster will go up with my fifth one. So, it matches the, and so this is part of the currency needed to upgrade. And this is the primary bottleneck that I'm experiencing uh to upgrade those characters okay so this is purple this is like ability materials purple ability materials uh which is used from levels let's say 10 to 20 on their emblems uh this is for the collection we're going to do that we're going to go look at the collections and then this is for epic uh fragments and and pretty much uh upgrading all of the uh the uh, the, the elite fragments rather but the higher tier characters like the legends and the epics all require that as well so it seems like you always need like, like sometimes i need like 500 extra pieces to upgrade by their character. So I pretty much have bought everything here. Then I'm gonna go and check the Evil Falls store. Uh, so these are like gear. There's a gear system, which uh, is similar to that of Raid Shadow Legends or Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or Summoner's War. It's a very common uh, system in this in, in these types of games. Uh, Marvel Strike Force didn't have it uh, at all. They kind of went with the ISO system. They kind of went with something different, but uh, I pretty much only upgrade and work on the characters at the highest level. So I don't bother any here without the elite marks. I only get the ones with the double elite. So I don't have enough currency. When I do my evil falls mission for the day, which is like a world boss that rotates, it's kind of like a daily challenges. I'll get some of this currency and maybe I'll come in and buy. I may buy that. I don't know. Um, or that this is kind of an annoying one because this um, this heel sets is there's there's different sets. And that's easily, in my opinion, the worst set is the heel set. But this is the attack hell set. And this is the chest piece, which gives a boost to HP and so on and so on. And so maybe I'll buy that. All right. So we're going to go into the mail and just see what's going to here. I'm just going to collect my rewards. That's for prediction bonus, which we will look in the arena system here in a minute. Hall of Justice. So this is where my alliance is. And I don't have many activities to today, but uh, I'm in an alliance with Tana and other players that are here on Twitch. Let's read this. At what rank do elite characters need to reach before character fragments can be used to rank up material for epic characters? I don't know the answer to this question. And, and so this kind of educates me every day because I don't, I just don't know the answer to this question. What rank do elite characters need to reach before character fragments can be used to rank up as material for epic characters? I have no idea. 
I'm just going to pick rank three. There we go. That's the right answer. All right, so I learned something. Now, I'm in the guild, and I'm going to go into the guild. We have this guild challenge, which is kind of like... Uh, there's nothing like this in Marvel Strike Force, but in, in uh, let's say, Galaxy of Heroes, this is kind of be like a Rancor raid or something like that, or we're fighting up against... Um, oh, this is not... This is not, this is not, it's the evil Superman, if you will. And so there is three areas. And so I contributed on each area. Like I contributed into elite three, which unlocks different bonuses. And if my Alliance uh, was able to complete all four, it makes the final boss round easier. And then right here, I've completed this stage right here. And then at some point I can attack the main stage. So I can't attack the main stage for another five hours. There's actually nothing to do today. Uh, and that would be a boss round. Other thing too is that uh, there's a mercenary system, which is kind of interesting right here. And I, I can borrow up to three mercenaries a week, and I might do that. And so there's other people in my alliance. So they got like Da, Demon Lion, uh, Trooper Cooper, Dogbert. Dogbert's here in chat right now. I can borrow their characters. Now, my, my top characters are at 220, and other people can borrow my characters. Uh, but if I get to a stage, because this game is largely PvE, there's very little PvP in it. And so when it comes to monetization, uh, there's not really a high incentive to monetize or, or spend money because you're mostly just playing against the computer, PvE. Like, I, I want to say that most of the gameplay, like 99, 90% of the gameplay, there is an arena system, but it, it's it's somewhat uneventful. Mostly you're just playing against the game. Uh, not And so this will help you clear stages. So I've got three hires left. And if I get stuck on a stage, uh, I can I can use one of their characters. Fantastic. So there's an advantage to be alliance. I can borrow uh, the best characters uh, from uh, my, my, my alliance mates. And they can do the same thing for me. So we're going to go into the... We're just going to play the game of getting rid of the red dots, which is kind of a nice thing to do. All right. So this is, um, in my opinion... Let's see if this is... Uh, this is for the, the collectibles. The collectibles are like the Batmobile and, and so on and so on. So... Uh, I believe this event is wrapping up. And in my opinion, this is probably the one part of the game that I feel like is a scam. Um, not really not really favorable to this. So the, you get this grid right here on this event and you're looking for this item right here. And one would think that I have a one in three chance of pulling this item. But if I click this rewards preview, it, 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 it informs me that my odds are really 1.3%. And, and basically this, this diagram over here is completely a fraud not really a fan this is like probably the only area of the game that it feels like a scam and so uh, unlocking this collection people are telling me it actually will you you get trapped into doing it and and then it costs more than a hundred dollars not this is the this is the one part of the game that just actually kind of annoys me um no they have the same percent to be pulled i know it doesn't work that way i i promise you it's going to go to the last one 1.3 1 percent caught current turn of research reward chance all right yeah, so I'm not, not a fan of, of this part of the game. Anyways, let's move on. Um, I, I just, I'm not going to spend money on it is what it comes to. I just don't like the way that it's set up. Maybe I don't completely understand how it works, but it, it seems like it, it just, it, it starts accelerating the cost and it gets super expensive to unlock the collection. Now let's go look at the collections. The collections over here are items that you can use abyss, uh, in battle to assist your team. Uh, they're like a, it, you typically go into battle with like uh, uh, five players and this is like a six player seventh player eight player and oftentimes you can take in three and you 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 get uh this is like stark tech in marvel strike force in some way you get uh bonuses to all your characters based on their level so i'm going to upgrade that a little bit you can see that the overall stats are going up kind of like a stark tech mechanic only that you're upgrading a little bit every day and so there's tons that i don't have unlocked you can see that there's four rare ones i basically have the the common ones, that's all I have right now. And they all work differently. And uh, that one there is the one that I like the most. So we're gonna go to a security plan. This is kind of like my daily activities. There's a battle pass system in here that costs $14, which I am doing. Uh, and I feel like there's a reasonable value in the battle pass. And I'll show that here in a minute because um, I'm getting points right here. I'm at level 10, a level 11. And when I get to um, 150, right now I'm at 60 out of 150, then I will um, I get to the next next level inside of the battle pass so we're going to go through it Ex accept a squad dispatch mission three times so this is really simple right here you just hit quick collect and those are the items that came in from yesterday and then i hit quick dispatch and confirm and it just sends off the items and they will come in in eight hours three hours what two hours and these are just various items for upgrading so that's just part of the daily activities 
So we got the level 61. All right, let's go there. Now, challenge evil, evil falls boss one time. So this is like a world boss node and it rotates on a daily basis. So it's almost like a, a daily activities, like a daily challenges and it changes every day. Johnny quick. And I haven't, so I got my rewards from where I've been, where I placed on the previous time that I placed this. And now I have an opportunity to advance. So I'm, I, I'm guessing that there's a lot of detailed strategies. Like each one's a little bit different. I haven't, I haven't jumped deep into that much. And so it looks like I have not uh, played this stage in a minute. So, uh, and the reason why I say that is I've, uh, as far as support characters, I've switched away from Kid Flash, which is an excellent healer, to Zatanna, which is more aggressive and uh, uh, attack based. And I, I just really love that she has like a, 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 a dispel on the opponent's side. Uh, she boosts the team's attack. She boosts the crit rate. I, I, and she also uh, provides like a drain mechanic. She's probably my, so she's probably my favorite uh, boss. So I'm gonna just make sure that my ultimates are in order on the way that I like them. And then um, I'm not gonna get into the individual gameplay because it's it's nuanced and um, maybe we'll get to a stage that I can't clear and by repositioning my team, I can get a, a better uh, attack. But largely this is just gonna take a couple minutes, put it on autoplay. Uh, I can tell that I haven't played this in a minute, so maybe I will be able to go to the next stage and it'll get more difficult. Uh, so they have these little animations right here and these animations go off uh, only the first time per day. And so once you've seen a character's like complete full animation, it just shows it once the first time each day. And then after that, it shows a more, more abbreviated version. Uh, typically there's, there's, so there's two lines. There's a front line and a back line. Front line is typical tanks and back line is usually DPS and support. And so in the front line, I put two tanks and then in the back, I usually put two attackers and a support. Uh, as far as tanks go, uh there's a i have uh, lex luther is my main tank i think he's an end game tank he's a, a a legendary uh that i was able to unlock through a special event i didn't have to spend money on him i did not collect him through an orb i got him through this fusion process which i can show you in a minute and i think that anybody that's playing this game uh, can unlock lex probably as their first legendary because legendaries in this game are legendary and they're relatively hard to get and they don't come up very quickly. Uh, Wonder Woman's also a legendary, so I'll talk about her in a minute. So uh, we're gonna go, we, we basically collecting the rewards. Now we're gonna go to the next round because uh, I went from uh, difficulty, what was I? I was in difficulty 13. Now I can go from difficulty 14. And I, the reason why I knew that that was gonna possibly happen is because uh, I recently made the change from Zatanna, from Kid Flash as my support and she's more offense minded. And I, I suspected that I would be able to uh, move ahead and do that. So uh, Lex is great. And we're gonna talk about Lex because uh, we're kind of all over the place, but I wanted to talk about why I think Lex is the best and how to get Lex. Lex is in a special event. And as soon as we get through this stage right here, I, I'm pretty sure I'll die probably halfway through it, which is fine. Maybe I'll get lucky with the current um, team configuration that I'm doing and get through it faster. He seems to dodge a lot, so uh, I don't really know if um, that's gonna do well. Now, I'm not gonna uh, get into like all of the individual stats or what they do. Uh, I mean, cause it's, it, there's so many different characters in the game. I have every single epic character unlocked. As far as legendaries, I have a couple legendaries. I have Wonder Woman, I have Lex, and then I have uh, Sinistro, or however you say his name, I, which who's okay. Uh, you don't get, I didn't get to pick him. He was just a, a part of a promotion, but Lex is for sure in game material. And, uh, you know, like I, I don't have any regrets of any resources upgrading into him. Same thing with wonder woman. And then Constantine is an Epic. And I believe everybody gets Constantine at the beginning, uh, him right here in the middle. And, uh, he seems to be a pretty good character DPS as well. And then, uh, I would prefer if I had Nightwing as my other tank or if I, you know, but I've, you know, Gorilla Grodd is fine. All right, so I don't think we're gonna make it through it. This is gonna wind down. I think we're gonna be 90% through. Yeah, we we almost made it. We got the last stand there. All right, so we made it like 90% through. All right, so uh, normally what I would do right here, I got 88% through, is I would go back and uh, see if I wanna purchase anything in that Night Falls screen over here, which is Evil Falls shop. So now I have 37,000 currency. Uh, HP attack. Let's see if I'm using that on any one of my main characters and see if I have a, a good replacement for that. 
Um, all right, so maybe I want to do that uh, because uh, I am using that there. HP bonus block. Yeah, that, that seems like a good choice there. Uh, I can see that this is offset. Uh, typically with your equip points, you do like four and two. So you can see I've got four hearts. There's no point in doing six because uh, you get set bonuses. You can see right here, HP set times two, HP bonus 3%, HP set times four, 6%. And then I would do a two piece set, but right here I'm not. You can see that it, it it's it's mix and match. And I think pref I would prefer on him to have, let's say like speed and health, but health for sure, because he's a tank man now. Uh, I'm just going to leave that for a loan for today. I'll, I'll come back to that tomorrow. I'm not going to purchasing that. Uh, but there's a special event uh, right here called Character Fusion. And you can see that I that's how I unlocked Lex. But basically, if I collect these shards right here, I can unlock Lex. Which is amazing! I, 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 this is like, run to walk, go do this. If you're playing DC World Collide and you don't have Lex unlock, uh, probably the easiest way to get a legendary character in the game right now. Um... So let's keep going through the event uh, the event center. So this is a a a a a, a time based event that is running right now, and these are always coming and going. Uh, they just they're just there. All right, let's go to security plan, uh, daily missions, and we're just going to advance through the daily meters now. Uh, Beast Arena. This is probably my uh, Beast Arena, and we're going to do the Unstricted re Arena at the same time. Probably my least favorite part of the game, but there's ways of getting through it quickly. You can actually sim it and so it's very quickly so ultimate battle is for the top people in the game and you basically just place like a bet and uh tap to make a battle and i always bet on this guy right here and and 80 crystals will show up in the mail tomorrow if he wins his match all right and, and that's reverse reserved for the top 64 players on the server which i am not because i took like a, a couple months off so beast arena is basically uh i go into battle and i can see three opponents I, I, I know that my power on my team is like 1.6 million, so I can hit free. And then I just sim it. Basically, I hit fight. And then up here, there's a skip button, which sims the match. And I get the W. And uh, I, I just think this is probably the, my least favorite part of the game. Uh, it, it's just not very eventful. It's just literally clicking buttons and simming past it very quickly. Now, I get special rewards for the first three that I do every day. Uh, if I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this, I could just play three matches and be out because you'll see that uh, when I get my wins, I get uh, the currency for this shop right here that's tied to this uh, mode. And, and uh, that only happens on the first three matches. So I typically just do that three times if I don't have a lot of time. But if I was willing to, wanting to push to get to the top, I would play it a lot, right? And I would just keep doing that. And, and I'll show you that. Like I, I would hit the refresh button to find the matches that are favorable and then just go, go, go. But on the fourth match, as, as we get right here, um, not, you know, let's see, we'll refresh until I find a match I can win. Okay, I can win this 1.4 million. All right, but you can see right here, I'm gonna go into battle and I'll just get 20 minutes of gold. Uh, and then I'll move up in rankings, which there are times that I wanna do that. But if I, if I just wanna just get through it real quickly, it doesn't really make a sense to do that. So we're gonna move past that. Now, the next part of the Beast Arena, and this is a new game mode, and they seem to add new game modes all the time. It's called Unrestricted Arena, which basically is the same thing, but I set up three teams. So I've got three teams currently set up and I'll just show you them real quickly. Here are my three teams, so on and so on. I got some synergy right here. Basically, I've got my DPS with her, Zatanna. Then right here, I've got a team that's based off around shields. So I've got Jessica, Lex, and then whatever that guy gives shields and Batman for single target damage. And then I've got a DPS team down here uh, with Kid Flash's support. Anyways, and, and it kind of re relies on negative effects. And so uh, the same thing on this. Uh, Basically, the daily activities are that uh, play five matches. So typically, that's what I do is just play five matches. So I hit challenge, and then I don't get to pick who I get to play up against. I can see that I have 3.1 million. They have 6 million. This is an auto lose. And I hit skip right here. I, it, 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 it throws it in my face that I didn't spend enough money. It throws it in my face that I didn't spend enough money. It throws it in my face that I didn't spend enough money. And so I move on. And I have to do that five times. So I'll do that one more time. And then it's kind of predetermined. See, 3.2 million versus 4.6 million. Probably going to be auto losses. I'm just going to hit the button because I don't really... This, it's just so uneventful to me, this part of the game. Uh, we'll get to the parts that I like here in a minute, uh, which is Elseworld and 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 the, the story mode and all of that stuff. I think that is fantastic. All right, so that's round two. We got to do this five times. This is part of the daily activities. 
Uh, I should get a win on this at 3.1 million versus 2.8 million. So I'm probably going to get three W's right there. Now, if I wanted to see how my team was doing and why they're losing, I could, I could watch it manually. Oh, I lost. Probably should have watched that and try to figure out why I lost and then move my team around because the whole game play is about setting up teams with synergy and placing the teams in certain places and then setting up the ultimates in the correct turn order so that you can have an optimal strategy to win. And that probably is a whole uh, video about that, you know, the infinite amount of possibilities. And now what is the game is about. Now you, you do have the option to manually, uh, on most game modes, you have the option to manually control the ultimates. Uh, so that is a thing also, but a lot of times it's, it, it, you know, if you have the team set up correctly, you don't have to do that. And it's just a matter of making sure they're in the right locations. Now there is a system in place in the game where like, green is stronger than red and red is stronger or no wait other way around green is stronger than blue blue is stronger than red and blue is stronger than uh um blue is stronger than red red is stronger than green green is stronger than blue it's like a triangle right it, of it where they get a bonuses and so each character you can see has that and so where you place the 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 characters on the screen makes a difference on how those matches play out and there's a lot of tutorials for that. Like whenever you get a new character, you go through this training mode and it, it's like, it kind of like introduces you to the character, how the character works. I mean, that could be like 20 videos. You can make a video about every single character actually, uh, and understanding how that works. And that is what the game about is about is understanding how, how the characters play, placing them with, uh, uh, characters that have synergy, placing them in the right spot and then timing the ultimates. And that's where the strategy of the game is. And then also uh, choosing what characters to upgrade largely has to do with that. So I, I think this game is going to be largely about tier lists. I, I can tell you off the top of my head that by the most part, the legendaries are very legendary. And as far as epic epics, there's a couple of really great epics, which would include Constantine, Nightwing, uh, Flash, Zatanna, and, and so on. So there's, there's a lot of different tier lists out there. I believe I've done my daily activities on this, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, I have to get one more win. So let's uh, go and do one more and then we will collect the resorts from there and then we'll move on to the daily activities and we'll probably go to Elseworld. So Killer Frost is another one that's amazing. So uh, I'm on the very first server. So, uh, and because I, I feel like when you start playing this game, you know, if you're, if you're early on the server, uh, the, the greatest asset that you can do for yourself is playing every day because uh, I took some time off and, and and I feel like that's the reason why I am behind. There's all the data on that match. Did not do well. Let's do one more. All right. We got to get a W for me to finish my daily activity. So this is taking more than five battles. This is actually battle number seven. All right. So we got it. I, I should get it right here. All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah. There's a lot of different teams. And I feel like they're coming out with new characters all the time. And I'm sure the strategy is going to change. All I can tell you is I'm really happy with Constantine and Lex. And I think most people can get those two characters relatively easily. Constantine is the first epic character that they kind of like start you off with. And he's amazing. Uh, he's he's one of the better characters in the game, in my opinion. And then, and of course, that's subject to change because they, they rebalance characters and do things all the time. And then Lex, you can get through that event that I just showed you right there. All right, so let's go through this. this is a, lot, a lot of various upgrade materials. So we're going to go back to the security plan and we're going to work through the daily activities. And here we go. I believe we're going to go through that. All right. Elseward. Okay. So this right here does not use my roster. This is the coolest game mode. So I have to choose between three preset teams. So this gives me an opportunity to play characters that I don't have. Like, for example, in this very first row, there's two legendary characters that I don't even own. Fate and, and uh, Superman looks great also so i i'm not going to go into why i'm going to choose the first row but i'm going to choose the first row mostly because there's two legendaries so i've got superman who's a tank that does aoe and then we've got big damage dps guy right here so we've got three rows and there's a buff every day it says when an enemy deals damage they will gain a random buff and behind me they have recommended characters uh but i i typically just try to go for legendary aoe characters and try to boost their stats as much as possible all right, so I can choose between enemies or reinforcements. Oh, we're, this is a legendary character right here. So we're going to take him as well. And I believe we have an amazing team to start off with. And uh, I can go back and choose which teams 
I want to play against. It starts off easy and it gets more difficulty. And then in between rounds, you get boost. So we're going to put the tanks in the front and then we're going to put the damage in the back. And then, uh oh, damage in the back. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's pick a support. Let's pick her. And we're just going to do it like this. I think he's got a terrible ultimate. So we're going to put that in the back. And I like Superman. He's got burn, a lot of damage. All right. We, so I just, uh, j I'm not going to get into why I'm doing it this way because I don't have to explain all of it. But this is just based off playing it. Now, the fun thing about this is I get to play characters that I don't uh, I get to play all the time. So this is kind of like a tower a little bit. So like, I'm gonna go through this round and it's gonna give me a series of either boosts or um, new characters that I can add. And these are characters not in my roster. And then I kind of just pyramid until I get to the top. So we're going through the battle right here and Superman's gonna take a turn and he will do AOE. And uh, you could do this all manually, but I, I typically just run this on auto at this time. So, um, yep, let's go. All right, let's keep going. All right, um, and I, I and went to the problem is if I lose a character, he's dead for the rest of the, the match unless I revive them. Uh, but I have plenty of revives. I've got 40 or 50 revives, and the revives revive the whole team at the same time. All right. Okay. We got we're going, we're going, we're going and all right, so we got a, we got a W there. All right, so we're going to move to the next level and then the next level here, I can choose one of these uh uh three buffs, right? Blue is going to be like the lowest tier, uh purple is going to be epic, which is the middle tier and then there's legendary sometimes. So, uh, I don't particularly like these last ones over here. It says frostbite damage is dealt. It's so situational. 60% to advance energy. By one when any ally turns, I, that's one that I found to be good in the past. So I'm going to pick that. And it is purple over blue. Uh, I'm just going to take the enemies here. I don't think that's too challenging. So we're just going to move forward and hit fight. We're trying to get through this as quickly as possible. So you can see what my, my daily activities look like in this game. Uh, and I believe we're going to get through this here pretty quickly. And then from there, we will go to the story mode and convergence crisis, which is also kind of like a rotating daily activities where... I have limited teams that I could use. So uh, the idea here is to AOE, AOE, uh, get get those boosts that boost stats and, uh, you know, just kind of do a lot of AOE and not have anybody die. So was, I'm, I'm pretty going to be pretty happy with it, this as long as Superman and Penguin stay alive. Uh, where we go? There we go. Let's go. We're going to get through it. So this is a little bit of waiting. This match is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. Hmm. Question from Chad is how long is the tutorial? I, it seems to me they give a tutorial for each mode and they introduce the modes over time. So it, it's hard to say how long the tutorials are for each one. Increase attack by, see the, so this is the one I'm going to pick. Increase attack by 50% when HP is above 60. So that's going to be good because we're going to AOE right from the start from characters in the back row. What do we get? All right. All allies change a 30% chance to assist. I do like that. When anyone allies, basic attacks deals damage for the first time and least a magical strike on three random enemies dealing superpower damage equal to 160% of attack. I like that one even more. We're going to do that. And then we have another, uh, we're gonna, we got the Martian Manhunter was a tank. He is legendary. And so I'm going to substitute him in over Penguin. Don't know that he's any better necessarily. Uh, it's just that he's a legendary. I believe he has higher base stats. Uh, and he's a character that I don't own. And he recently had an event for him, and his kit looked very situational. So I've seen uh, high-level gameplay of, of people using him, and they seem to like him very much. I think we're going to get through this like now. I feel like we've gotten some good um, boosts so far in this event, and so that we're going to have an easy time getting to the top without having to uh, have too many damages or lost characters. Okay, so we're going to go next round. Uh, let's see. At the start of battle, decrease an enemy attack by 10, 15%, crit damage by 15%. That's great. Increase the attack of allies with the strength. So that's going to be the red ones. Uh, I don't believe that's that great. Uh, when detonating, the detonate damage increase for 20% if we one stack of uh, frostbite has. Boy, I don't really like any of these. I'm going to take this middle one because uh, that just kind of... It seems to me that some of them are just so situational. Oh, best tank in the game or DPS. I, I've got two excellent choices here. Um... 
boy, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I, I don't know what to do here. This is like, we got like two amazing choices. Uh, I feel like I've got two good tanks right now. I'm just going to take Constantine for backup. And I have amazing DPS right now. I, I don't know that I'm going to replace them. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Let's go into battle. And I'm going to replace uh, the support with uh, with uh, Constantine. Let's see. What's, um, let's just set it up like this. I don't even know if I'll make it to him. All right. I, I adjusted the, uh, the, the ultimate order. All right. We're going to keep going. Uh, I think we're, I think we're, 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 we're going to blow through this with no problems today. Some days are harder than others. Sometimes you get bad RNG and you don't get good boosts. Sometimes you don't have good characters at the start. I mean, this can go bad, but there is a way of reviving the character. Sometimes you get stuck behind a super annoying flash. I've seen that happen a lot. So let's keep going. And, uh, what do we got here? Um, lightning strike. I like that one there. Uh, let's do the very first one. Lightning strike. Random enemy dealing superpower damage. All right, let's do that. Oh, we get another boost. All right, increase tank damage or damage by 100%. That's kind of nice because Superman does AOE. Ultimate points by front row. Oof. Dealing one damage of stack or burn by frostbite. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. If I had another aggressive tank, oh, increase, increase, decrease ultimate points spent by front row allies by one. We're going to do something kind of crazy here. I'm going to put uh, a, a, an attacker in the front row. Uh, let's just take her. Let's, I'm going to put an attacker in the front row. Let's, we got to choose our teams here. Um, boy, he's kind of annoying heals. Let's do it. We're going to put an attacker in the front row just for, for funsies. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's take him out. And it's okay if he dies, but he's, we're going to reduce it. He's going to go off all the time. This is going to be fun. Uh, let's put her back in. And let's adjust the ultimates around. We're going to, we're going to get Superman to go off first because he's in the front row. We're going to go in this order right here and see how it goes. See, that like he goes off when he gets two energy, one energy. So I will get three energy when all my characters take a turn. So it rotates around. So there we go. Superman's popped off. And then he goes. So this is a very aggressive strategy. Very aggressive strategy by putting uh, offense in the front row. because Just because of the, of the, the bonuses I got. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Fantastic. Oof. We cleared through it. I feel like we're just we're just trying to blow them up before they take a turn. Deathstroke's amazing. All right, increase the attack of all allies with intellect track, and uh, it's very specific. When frostbite damage is dealt, if the target afflicted with burn, this instance of frostbite damage is dealt. It's very specific. Defense thirty percent. Oh boy, I don't like any of these. To be honest with you, uh, I don't know that I have a way of doing frostbite damage right now. If I had, let's say. Green Lantern or Frost or something like that. I could do that, but it's I do have a way of doing burn, but you have to have a burn and uh, I don't like this. Increase the attack of allies with 30%. Uh, uh, so I do have two intellect allies on the back row, uh, which would be um, Fate and uh, Constantine. I guess we'll just do that. I mean, it seems good. All right, let's take a look at this. He's kind of garbage. He's good. Uh, they've got legendary loot. Uh, Lex Luthor there. Ooh, don't want to play against that. That's a very good team, it looks like. So I'm trying to pick the easiest team right here. Uh, that looks annoying also. Let's do this first one. Okay. If I had taken, yes. It, 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 the, the bonuses may have played out differently if I would have chosen them in a different direction. All right. Uh, you know, because there was different ways of optimizing uh, those boosts right there. But it, it seems situational in a lot of cases. All right. So we're going to keep going and... I'm taking advantage of the front row having uh, very fast cooldowns, which is fantastic. And then I think we're going to get through this. So hopefully my front row survives before they get blown up. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, they come back at full health on the next one. Thank goodness, right? All right, let's keep going. Uh, at, the, at the start of battle, add three stacks of defense break. I'm probably going to pick that one there. Increase the damage when the enemy is below 40%. Increase the attack when HP is below. Okay, I, I like this one, and I also like this one right here. But I'm going to do this one right here because this slows them down and gives them defense break at the beginning of the battle. And hopefully Superman and 
uh, Deathstroker going off. Uh, okay, so this guy, I like this support right here, and then I like him also. He's a legendary. Let's do this, and we're going to pull out the girl. What do we got here? Right above, increase the tank character damage by 100%. Superman's a tank. Wait, increase the damage by 35% when attacking enemy in the back row. First time an enemy uses the ultimate, I'm not worried about that. Uh, let's just, let's just go heavy on Superman. I know that it, wait, he's the only tank I have. Oof. Let's do this one over here. Increase damage by 35% in attacking an enemy in the back row. All right, and we got Kid Flash. Uh, he'll go on the bench. We're going to pull out. Who are we going to pull out? We're going to pull out the girl that's the support. And we're going to put in the legendary support right here. We don't really need the cooldowns to go off. Yeah, he's in last place. And this is the, the last and final round. Now, the problem with this is we're probably going to die. And Flash is beyond annoying. I, I can't explain to you how annoying Flash is. I, some people might say he's the best character in the game. Uh, but I hate playing against Flash over there. Not fun. Uh, let's see if we can get through it. Yeah, I don't know all the names of all the characters, to be honest with you. I know what they do. I know the gameplay mechanics more than the character names. I have a hard time. If you've watched me, you don't have a hard time with teams. All right, Superman's got invincibility to turn, so all of this is not going to do damage at all. And so until he takes a turn, he's got like a, a, a death proof on right now. He's invincible to damage until he takes a turn. So like all my turns are being wasted right now, which is kind of sad. Uh, and there you got the right here. We've got the the turn meter. Uh, so he'll take a turn here. All right. We kind of wasted all the ultimates. Oh, my God. All right. There he goes. <laughs> now he's dead. All right. He's gone. All right. So we finished Elseworld for the day and we get our bonuses. So what I'm going to do now is we we get the rewards for the day. It's done. Uh, I feel like that's a good mode to play every day to get good resort, re, uh, uh, good resources. And also, uh, you get to play characters that you don't normally play. So I'm going to open up this. All right. We got some uh, fragments there for Scarecrow. All right. Uh, we're going to go back to security plan. And we're going to click on the daily missions here. And... Um, uh, let's see event center. We're gonna hit missions We're gonna collect that and I believe we can open up one of these here. Uh, let's see Yeah, there you go. Okay Rewards preview. Let's keep going And then lastly We're gonna go back into security plan and now we're gonna go into the daily missions and we're gonna go into the main stage So this is the story mode and I only have to play this once a day, and I don't even know if I'm able to get through this. Uh, typically, this is where I will bring in an alliance mate uh, to help. And so what we're going to see here is probably me just getting destroyed. and Because I haven't really upgraded my characters for the day, uh, other than my, my collection. But I only have to play this once. But if I'm trying to do... Normally, what I would do if I didn't have a lot of time is I would just play this once and then dip out for the day. And then maybe when I have more time, uh, I would actually try to break apart this node and actually win and move forward, uh, which is kind of important because, uh, you know, when you get to certain thresholds inside of the story mode, the amount of resources that you get uh, from the, the drone goes up based on where you are in this part of the main stages or the story mode. And typically this is where I will bring in my, my mercenaries and, you know, my 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 alliance mates who are super powerful uh to come in and help out now a lot of my alliance mates are at level 260 and i'm at 220 so yeah i probably could just blast through this uh if i brought somebody in to help i'm actually this is actually going a little better than i thought let's see if my lex can survive here no he's dead probably soon unless he can uh, get the shields back up right here i mean i don't know oh wait she might get a stun Oh, this will strip off the positive effects and put armor break on them. Oh, we might get through it. Um, it's going to come down to DPS versus DPS. Who's got it? All right. Um, Red Hood can revive. He's if if but if I can kill. Yes, there he revived. All right. So he just kneeled down. He was out of the battle. If I could have finished off the battle, that would have been good. And then I wouldn't have had to deal with that. He had to like wait a turn. Uh, but now we're down to Green Arrow. And I'm pretty sure Green Arrow can wipe my team right now if I don't get through him quickly. All right. I'm the best. All right, so I just have to do this once per day. Now, the next two stages, which I'm not gonna do because they're gonna be just really simple. Uh, it's like there's like one hard stage, two easy stage, one hard stage is kind of the way that this works. And then um, it goes, uh, right now I'm on 31-25. So 31-27 will be hard. And then 
30 will be the final one. And I typically will use the mercenaries when I get to the 30s, the 31-30. And then I can, uh, then you get more reward, more drone rewards in the thing. So I really don't have to play this right now. If I wanted to just, like if I was pressed for time, uh, I could have made this a lot better. We're like 40 minutes in the video. I've done a lot of talking, a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't do if I was pressed for time. I believe I could get everything done in under 30 minutes if I absolutely have to. And if I wanted to play the game more, I could really dig into like, this is going to be a hard stage right here. I could really dig into this stage, bring in mercenaries, move my team positions around, swap in different characters. I mean, there's all kinds of things to do if I really wanted to pick this stage apart. And that's what the strategy is on this game. Uh, but right now, I'm just, initially, I'm not even moving my characters around. I can just want to see if I can get through clear on this on auto. And we'll see. I, I actually, if I can, uh, uh, Wonder Woman has a good, uh, her lasso whip, which attacks the back row. And, and she's red and they're green. So oftentimes, she can blast through it. She's going to, uh, she's got a silence or a stun on her right now. She got stunned by Bizarro. So normally, she would take a turn here. And AOE, and the AOE would hit the back row. We got our, my collection, the Tiger. That'll help a little bit. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking at this this uh, right here. I don't know what that is. A minion of some kind. Oh, here it goes. All right, so now we should have a four versus five situation. Maybe we can get through this. Uh, I'm going to actually play this a little bit longer than I normally would. I might bring in a Mercenary to make it past 30 dash, uh, 31 past 30 because that would be a pretty big milestone. And then the last thing that I have to do before I'm done with all of my daily activities is play on uh, the Convergence uh, Crisis Mode, which um, rotates every day. And every mode is a little different, like only use green characters, uh, which is agility or strength or intellect or villains or heroes. There's different uh, game modes. Okay, so we got through this. All right. Fantastic. And then uh, the, there's the whole thing about upgrading characters and using the emblem system, the gear, using the right kind of gear uh, and various things and, and the ranks and getting more abilities. I, it, there's so much stuff to the game, which is probably for another uh, another video. And I, and I feel like that's for people to discover, like you can figure that stuff out on your own. And also it changes every time they add new characters and it's gonna be roster dependent on what characters you are personally working on. So it's kind of hard to make a generic video about that. I mean, I could do a full breakdown on Lex and show why he's amazing or why Wonder Woman's amazing. Most of the legendaries are. Uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna, uh, I, I'm gonna, for the sake of this video, because I'm kind of excited to get through this 30-30, uh, 31-30, I'm probably gonna bring in a mercenary and bring in someone's uh, mercenary to, to beat this last part here. All right, here we go. All right, 29 will be really easy also. All right, like I said, there's two filler ones in between age hard stage. So this is gonna be, soon as pretty much as Wonder Woman AOEs with her smash, uh, which, you know, she's a crit-based character, so you want to ramp up her, her crit chance as much as possible, and then effects pop off at a certain percentage when she crits. She's just basically, you know, just get her crit stats through the roof is kind of the strategy on uh, uh, building her, which I've been doing, trying to get her as min a much crit chance as possible. All right, so I, this, I, I like this setup here because and I didn't have to move around, I just kind of fell into it. I got Wonder Woman across a green character on the back line. Uh, the lasso move from Wonder Woman attacks the back line, which is fantastic. And so she's gonna jump up right here. And uh, let's see if we can get this to pop off and maybe we'll get a W. Uh, it looks like a as far as their team composition, well, let's see if I can get through with the front line. All right, we're, we're down to a four versus five already. If Constantine AOEs here pretty soon, uh, maybe we can move this to a uh, three versus four. For now, we got a four for. Maybe see if we can get through the front line. No, we didn't. Um, okay, this is looking really good. Maybe we're gonna get through it. All right, so we're gonna see a little bit of the story mode here when this happens, uh, because this will 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 be moving through stage thirty one. and We'll be moving on to stage thirty two. Uh, I believe we've got this, unless Wonder Woman just blows me up. All right. Uh, so currently I'm working on Nightwing. I'd like to get Nightwing in here and uh, I just need to get more stars on him and then I can replace uh, Gorilla because uh, I think Nightwing would be a better. He's got he's a character based off block and plus he can also stun the highest attack character. Seems very good. Probably could have played this whole match with Wonder Woman stunned if I was playing with Nightwing, which sounds amazing. So he's a character that I'm working on uh, right now. I just need to get stars on him. Uh, so I need to get like character shards, if you will. 
All right, so we're gonna get this can possibly time out. Uh, so there's only a maximum of 15 rounds, so I'm at seven to 15. Now, when I was using Kid Flash as support instead of uh, Zatanna, um, I was timing out a lot, and I just really like her a lot more. I think she's great. All right, so we got through it. Yay me. All right. All right, let's keep going. All right. So this we've so that we're gonna see that my drone is gonna get boosted here, which is for my uh, let's uh, let's go back and we'll just go to the main stage and you'll see when I back out, it'll say that my drone is boosted. See, like there, I get the drone boost. So my my stats per hour are going up, and then we go into the next part of the story mode. So there's gonna be a cutscene here. Some people call this game um, No Leg Fortnite. DC collide or something like that. All right, there we go. J new drone supplies collected per day, confirm. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go into the last game mode that I'd have to do on a daily basis. Uh, and uh, I think you get the idea there. Can challenge a conversion crisis. So this is like a daily challenge. Only some of them are available on certain days. So you can see uh, like some of them are dark. There's only two right here. This one right here, I can only go in with uh, strength, red characters. Uh, and so this forces me to upgrade my roster because like, even though on my main team, I use Wonder Woman, uh, I don't really have a, a good assortment of strong, uh, or well-developed rather characters that are just strength. So this kind of uh, forced me to upgrade my roster. And so I've, I'm, I'm running the same strategy here, two tanks, one support, two DPS. I would prefer Batman is also an early game character. He's single target DPS. Uh, let's just for kicks run this. I'll probably lose. Um, they have pretty much. I think Flash is the best character in the game. And uh, once I once I lose, then I'm pretty much done for the day. And we will wrap up the video there. So let me know what you think about all this. Is this something that you're thinking about? Uh, I'm not really sure when this game's going to go global. Uh, the game feels very polished. Uh, monetization in the game feels very. I do want to say that there is a way of whaling on this game. Um, I personally spend. $5 on the drone package and $15 on the battle pass, which I think are reasonable values. Um, and I think the game is mostly PVE, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on the game. Um, but if you did want to spend a lot of money on the game, they certainly have a way of taking your money. And let me show you. All right, so this is the battle pass. And so you get the top row for free. The second part is the paid part of the battle pass. And it's $14, and it seems reasonable to me. We're going to do quick collect. And so we got some items uh, and, and we're done for the day. We're done with the day. But I do want to I do want to say that this game can be very expensive. So I unlocked uh, I unlocked Wonder Woman. Right. And you can see that now that I've unlocked Wonder Woman, if I really want to max out Wonder Woman, uh, they'll take my money. Uh, look at the look at the cost. If I want to upgrade Wonder Woman, I, I mean, you could spend well over two hundred dollars just fully upgrading Wonder Woman. And I don't even know if that would get her very far. It certainly would help. A and that is true of all the legendary characters. Whenever you get a legendary character, and I have three, they certainly give you the opportunity uh, to speed this process up because it is hard to upgrade these characters at a certain point. And there are a lot of bottlenecks and the things seem to slow down. Unless you just want to spend, you know, right? let's see, Lex Luthor. If you just want to spend a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, fifty dollars, two hundred dollars. What is this? Two hundred and thirty dollars? Poof on one character. Uh, but I, most of the use of the characters that I play in, in you know nearly every game mode are going to be these legendary characters like Lex and Wonder Woman. All right, that is the video for today. Let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. And keep on giving. Bye for now.